Who's the head man bishop now of the Church of God of Christ? What's his name? Bishop Sherry? Andrew Shears? James Drew Shears. James Drew Shears. All right, JJ. <laughs> I'm going to share your hide with the Bible. Share his hide. Your daddy's still living, and your mama got another man that she married? Your mama an is an adulteress. An adulteress. Your mama. Yeah. That's right. The Bible says you bound by the, bound law by the law as long as you live. That's right. The God of heaven don't justify you having another wife or another husband until your first wife died, Die. your first husband died. That's it. If you got another one while the first one is still alive, That's right. you are living in adultery. Hold that and give me Romans. Romans chapter, chapter 7 chapter and at verse seven, 1. Read quick. I, no, you're not, brother. Give chapter and verse. Romans chapter 7 and we're at verse 1. That goes for you old folk. Oh, that's I it. don't care if your first husband's still living and you had your second one for 30 years. Amen. You've been living an adulterous life for 30 years. That's right. You Amen. can be a preacher today. Oh, yes. You got a second wife while your first wife is alive. You are a Bible towing, Cadillac driving, <laughs> cross round your neck, backward collar adulteress. That's right. That got all the church of God in Christ. Amen. Church of God in Christ. Go ahead. Go United ahead. Pentecostal, UPC, PAW, all of you that justify divorce, divorce. and remarriage, yeah. you are an organization of adulterers. Adulterers. Romans chapter 7, Hear what I'm one. telling you? That's right. That's why the celebrities love organizations like that. Oh, yeah. They ain't got to get rid of their wives. They go run to the church of God in Christ. They run, they run for cover. Amen. Because the, who's the head man bishop now of the church of God in Christ? What's his name? Bishop Sherry, Andrew Shears, James Drew Shears, James Drew Shears. All right, JJ. <laughs> I'm That's gonna right. share your hide with the Bible. Shears hide. What did he say, son? Romans chapter 7, we'll start at verse 1. What is it? Know ye not, brethren, for I speak know to them not, that brother, know the law. I speak to them that know the law. Now that the law hath dominion over man as long as he liveth. What? For the woman which hath an husband. The woman that hath a husband. Is bound by the law. To, is bound by the law. To her husband. To her husband. So long as he liveth. So long as that devil is alive. But if the husband be dead. If the husband be sick. If the husband be dead. Weak. Dead. Short. Dead. Tall. Dead. Fat. Dead. Skinny. Dead. Blind. Dead. Death. Dead. Loses hearing. Dead. Loses teeth. Dead. In prison. Dead. On parole. Dead. House arrest. Dead. Camping. Dead. Vacation. Dead. On a plane. Dead. In the car. Dead. In the train. Dead. On a skateboard. Dead. That's right. While I want you men to hear this. That's right. It goes for your mama. That's right. Love her all you want, but if your daddy's still living and your mama got another man that she married, your mama an is adulteress. an adulteress. An adulteress. Your mama. That's right. She shall be called an adulteress. I told you, your mama. <laughs> That's right. Pastor Gina Jennings, a prominent figure known for his strong views and passionate preaching, has been involved in a several public challenges and debates within the religious community. Let's explore some of these instances. Debate on the Godhead. In a commentary video, Pastor Gina Jennings debated a minister from the Church of God in Christ, COGIC, on the topic of Godhead. Mr. Smith believed in three persons assisting the one God, while Pastor Gino Jennings preached that there is only one God who stands alone in his glory. Pastor Jennings is known for his unwavering stance on monotheism and his rejection of the Trinity doctrine. Challenges to Bishop T.D. Jacks 
Pastor Gino Jennings has publicly challenged Bishop T.D. Jacks on various theological matters. Baptism. In one video, he challenged Bishop T.D. Jacks regarding baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. Pastor Jennings emphasizes baptism in the name of Jesus as a biblical practice. Women preachers. Another video shows Pastor Jennings exposing the practices of false preachers and prophets, including Bishop T.D. Jacks. He challenges Bishop T.D. Jacks to an open debate. Pastor Jennings remains steadfast in his adherence to what he considers the true gospel of Jesus Christ. These public exchanges highlight Pastor Gino Jennings' fervent commitment to his beliefs and his willingness to engage in separated discussion within the religious community. His views often provoke strong reactions and ignite debates among believers. The Church of God in Christ, COGIC, like any large religious organization, responds to challenges and debates in various ways. While I don't have access to specific internal communications or official statements, I can provide some insights based on journal observations. Official Statement and Position Papers COGIC leadership may issue official statements or position papers in response to challenges from individuals like Pastor Gino Jennings. These documents clarify the COGIC stance on specific theological matters including divorce, remarriage and other controversial topics. COGIC leaders may emphasize their commitment to biblical principles and traditional teachings, public debates and dialogues. COGIC representatives might engage in public debate or dialogue with individuals like Pastor Gino Jennings. These interactions allow for a respectful exchange of ideas and provide an opportunity to address theological differences. COGIC leaders may defend their beliefs, citing scripture, historical context, and tradition, internal discussion, and education. Within COGIC congregation and leadership circles, there may be discussions and educational sessions. These aim to equip members with knowledge and understanding of COGIC doctrine enabling them to respond to challenges effectively. COGIC pastors and ministers may address congregations during sermons or Bible studies. Prayer and Spiritual Guidance COGIC encourages prayer and seeking spiritual guidance when faced with challenges. Members may be encouraged to pray for wisdom, discernment, and unity within the church. COGIC leaders may emphasize reliance on the Holy Spirit for guidance unity and solidarity. COGIC leaders often emphasize unity among believers. Challenges from external sources can strengthen the resolve of COGIC members to stand together in faith. COGIC may emphasize its historical continuity and the importance of remaining faithful to its core beliefs. Remember that uh, responses can vary depending on individual leaders, congregation, and regional context within COGIC. It's essential to recognize that religious organizations often respond collectively, drawing from their shared beliefs and practices.